everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maxwell Alexander. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day wherever you are in the world. Um, today's video I am super, super excited about. As you can tell by the title, um, I got my hands on some new makeup from a very good friend of mine. It was actually kind of like a Christmas gift from her. Uh, it was absolutely amazing. So shout out to the fabulous Stacy for all the amazing new makeup that I got to play with. It is absolutely insane. And over the next couple weeks, you guys will get to see everything that she got for me and I can't wait to play with it all and show you guys and have some fun. Today we are playing with the fabulous Neapolitan Eyes Cream Palette from uh, Baked Beauty, I would believe. I think it's really, really neat and this palette is absolutely insane. So I will just give you a quick show. So as you can tell, I am super, super excited about this palette. Um, this purple and this orange down here are going to be two of my absolute favorites to play with, and I can't wait to play with some of the other ones in this palette as well. So today what I'm going to be doing for you is, um, I'm going to do swatches of each of the colors on my arm here, and then we are also going to be doing a makeup look as well. I'm super excited to do this because I've already swatched a couple of the colors, but I want you guys to be able to see it as well. This one here, it is called Chocolate Chip, and it's like this like white kind of golden color. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love that shade. The next one that I'm going to swatch for you guys is called I Scream. And this one is a little bit more skin tone, champagne-y color. I think this would be good for like um, a no makeup makeup look, I think. Uh, and also an amazing transition shade. The next one I'm going to swatch is called powdered sugar and this is like a brown sugar gold color I guess Ugh, I die that is absolutely gorgeous next one I'm going to swatch for you is called vanilla bean so this is vanilla bean and it is just stunning. So there you have the top row of colors. They look fabulous! Alright, so now I'm going to swatch this second row here for you as well. So the first one that we're going to swatch is called Wafer. And that looks like this. Sorry, I didn't mean to give you guys the finger, so I apologize. But there is Wafer. The next one that I'm going to swatch for you, which I found really funny, it's called Pistachio. And you would think that Pistachio would be like a greenish color, but this one's like a coppery brown color. But I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. So that's Pistachio. The next one that I'm going to do is called Drive Through, and this I think is a matte brown shade. So pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm absolutely in love with these colors. Like, and they are so pigmented and smo so smooth, you guys. Like, I cannot wait to dig into these. And the last one is this beautiful, beautiful purple shade that I am dying for right now. And this is called Sliced Almonds. Okay, get ready. Oh, yes. It seems to be a little bit patchy, though. But then again, that is to be expected. I'm going to do another layer, see if I can't get this nice and pigmented for you. Well, you get the idea. But... Yeah, so that's the second row of colors. 
I really want to try and work with this, but I'm kind of afraid of it now. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. All right, and now I'm going to swatch this very last row down here for you guys. So the first one that I'm going to swatch is called Strawberry. And I think that's such a funny name for this color because it's like orange. Like straight up it is orange. But this is this shade called Strawberry. Which is really, really nice kind of burnt orangey shade. I really, really like this shade. This is going to be a fun one to play with for sure. The next one is called... Cocoa powder, and that looks like this. That looks absolutely stunning. I love that shade. It's got like a hint of purple to it almost. And that metallic, it's just like, ah. The next one is a dark brown matte shade, and this is called You Scream. And that's what it looks like there. Super pigmented, super dark. This will be good for, like, darkening up the crease to, like, give your eye a little bit more dimension. I really, really like this. This is beautiful. And last but not least, we have Sunday Fun Day, which looks like this. Again, like, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous color. Such amazing pigment in... pigment. Blah, 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 blah. Pigment in them. Holy fuck. So, there you go. So, that's the last row on the, uh, Neapolitan Eyes Cream Palette. Okay, so now that we're finished with the swatches and that is all done, now I'm going to zoom you guys in on my face, and we are going to get started with this makeup tutorial using the Neapolitan Eyes Cream Baked Cosmetic, or Baked Beauty Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. So now before we start on the eyes we need to prime our eyes. Now I just got this and there's a story behind this um, how I got it but you guys will find out in another video but this is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance 24 Hour Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer. So we are going to test this out today. I have never used this before, so I will give you guys my first impressions on this product um, and let you know what I think of it as well. So far, I really like the consistency of it. You don't need a lot of this product. It moves over the eye quite nicely. A very little amount worked just fine there. Alright, so now that we have our eyes primed, now we are going to go in with our transition shade. Now, I noticed in here that there isn't really much for a decent transition shade. These ones are all kind of shimmery colors here, and then the mattes that are in here are really, really dark. And I want something a little bit lighter, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in with my full exposure palette, like we do almost every single video, and we're actually going to go in with this color right here, this kind of um, peach, or er, skin toned uh, transition color. I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about anymore. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go in with this skin colored tone in my full exposure palette, and we're going to place that all over the lid just to set that eyeshadow primer and to help the colors blend and then what we're going to do is we're going to go in with the shade above that and we are just going to pop that into our crease and blend that out so that we have a nice transition shade and then we are going to go in with the Neapolitan palette okay so now that we have that gorgeous transition shade down now we can start going in with this beautiful palette that you see in front of you. Yas, darling. I am super, super excited to be playing around with this. So, I think what I want to 
do with this palette is I think we're going to take some of this uh, shade Strawberry here and we're going to put that into our crease and blend that out a little bit to start off with because I really, really wanted to play with this shade. Like these, the, this one and the purple one are two of the best shades, I'd say, in this palette. Oh, wow. That is gorgeous. Oh, I really, really love that. That orange is so beautiful. I still think it's so weird that they call it strawberry, though. And these blend effortlessly, by the way. Like, the blendability of these is, like, really, really something else. I absolutely love that. Like, it's so easy to blend out. Holy. Like, hardly any time, any effort at all. These just blend so seamlessly. So beautifully. I love it. Oh my word. So now that we have that beautiful orange shade down, now I think we are going to go in with this color called Sliced Almonds, and I'm going to put that right in the corner here, I think. I've never done anything quite like this before, so let's see how this turns out. I'm just playing around, and we're going to probably use some other colors as well in this look, but let's just kind of screw around with this. Alright, so now that we have that gorgeous purple color down there as well, now that that's all finished, now we can go in with some darker colors. That felt like it literally it took forever though, so I apologize in advance. So now that we've done the strawberry and the sliced almonds, I think I still want to darken up this crease a little bit more. It's just not as dark as I would like it to be because I think what we're going to do is we're going to go in with either this ice cream or this chocolate chip or maybe even both colors. Might even go in... Oh, shit. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. But for right now, we're going in with this color called Drive Through. And we're going to pop that right in this outer corner to really deepen this up using just a very tiny little pencil brush. And just finesse that right in that corner. And just bring it right across. Holy cow. That makes such a big difference. And then what you can do is you can take that same fluffy brush that you used to do the purple and you can just blend that. So now that we've got that done, now we can move on to the lid. And for the lid today, I think what we're going to do is we're going to use a little bit of this eye scream on the um, outside corner. And then on the inside corner of the lid, we're going to go in with some of this chocolate chip color. All right, and then just taking this, and we're just going to blend a little bit. There we are. And now going in with that color chocolate chip. I'm going to put that right on the inside corner. All right, so now that the top is all finished, now we are going to go in with one final color just for underneath the eyes here and what I was thinking was maybe taking some of this vanilla bean color and putting that right underneath the eye here. I don't really do light colors underneath the eye but I figured this might be a little bit different and help just kind of open up this eye, and it would blend really nicely with the purple in the corner. Alright, so now that we have all of the beautiful shadows down from the Neapolitan Eyes Cream Palette from Baked Beauty Cosmetics, um, now we can move on with some eyeliner. Now today I'm going to stray away from my normal black eyeliner, and we're actually going to go in 
with my Smashbox Always On Gel Liner, but in this time in the shade Bubbly. I want to keep these eyes nice and light and fresh, so that's going to just go right into the waterline. Alright, so now I'm just going to do my mascara off camera. I'm going to do my contour, bronzer, and blush off camera as well because you guys have seen it a million times. But then I will be back for the final look. Okay, so here you guys go. This is the finished eye look, the finished contour and highlight. The only thing left to do still is the lipstick. And I got this as part of a gift, yet again, which I will talk about in a later video. I'm going to do a tut whole tutorial on it, I promise. But this is the Too Faced Melted Chocolate Lipstick. So I'm going to test this out and see how good it is. People have told me nothing but great things about this lipstick. And so I'm really excited, and apparently it smells like chocolate. Oh my god, it does. Holy crap. So I guess you just squeeze it and let's do this. Ooh. It's very creamy. Oh my god. And it applies like a dream. Like I love this little tip on here. Oh. This is like the best. Oh my god. Where have I been? Like seriously, I need to get like all the colors. It's so creamy, and it, like, it doesn't feel dry, it feels super moisturizing. Like, guys, I, like, can't even with this. Ooh. Yes. Mm-hmm. I am feeling this, like, so much. Okay. For never trying anything from Too Faced before, and trying out these lipsticks, like the Melted, uh, Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. Holy crap! I need to get more of these. These are incredible. Oh my god. Like, seriously, these are absolutely amazing. So, there you have it. That is today's makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This Neapolitan Eyes Cream from Baked Beauty Cosmetics. I'm finally able to say it right. I'm sorry. Uh, this is an absolutely amazing palette. I can't wait to use it again. The colors in this are absolutely stunning. I can't wait to do some really fun nude kind of goldish looks with this. Um, this just is such an amazing nude palette. I absolutely love the colors in this. Not to mention the packaging for this is like so cute. Can we get it? Like, hello. Are you kidding? So adorable. So, so cute. It's got a nice big mirror in it. I can travel with this. This would be a great palette just to take um, if I'm traveling or if I'm staying the night at someone's house or something like that and I need to put on makeup the next day. I can create a few different looks out of this. I love that. Uh, so yeah, definitely, definitely would suggest that you guys go and buy this palette. It is absolutely incredible. As for the two Too Faced products that I tried out today, this lipstick as I said before, absolutely incredible. Definitely, definitely a must buy. I would definitely suggest you go and check this out. This is amazing. And then on top of it, the uh, Too Faced Shadow Insurance 24 Hour Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer. Um, as for 24 hour wear, I don't know, but I will do a check in um, later on this evening, just before I go to bed, I'm going to be wearing this makeup all day anyways. So I will do a check-in with you guys, and we will check out this eyeshadow and see if it still looks as snatched as it does now. And we'll also check in on, uh, the lipstick as well and see how long wearing it is. Um, I'm very interested to see how long this lasts so far. Still super creamy. Like absolutely incredible. I don't know if it dries down. I know it's liquefied, but I think it's... I'm not too sure. 
So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see how long it lasts. I still have lots of eating and stuff like that to do. I've got editing to do and all that sort of stuff. So we will check in on both of these products afterwards. But like I said, as for the eyeshadow palette, definitely Baked Beauty. Um, I can't wait to get more of their stuff and uh, try out more of their makeup. So that was a very, very, very cool surprise. Um, thank you to Stacy for giving me this palette for Christmas. I really, really appreciate it. Um, it's been super awesome uh, having you as a friend. Uh, you mean the world to me, so big shout out to you. Mwah. And as for the rest of you, as I say at the end of every single video, peace, love, and hugs, guys. I will see you on the next one. Bye! Mwah. Well, hello there, YouTube. It is currently 8.02 the next morning. Um, I'm sorry I didn't do my check-in. I apologize. Um, I went for a really nice, hot, relaxing Epsom salt bath that had lavender scents to it, and I got kind of carried away and totally forgot to take off my makeup, and the makeup got ruined and stuff like that, so I apologize, but I will say this. Um, when I did my makeup, I did it at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I didn't take my bath until about 8.30, maybe 9, and my makeup lasted all day, which was absolutely incredible. Um, so it lasted through that entire time. It didn't fade at all. The colors were still very vibrant. They were still very gorgeous. As for um, this little guy here, though, and by the way, what I'm talking about is the Too Faced Eyeshadow um, uh, shadow insurance primer um, so this guy definitely definitely works as for the melted cosmetics um, or sorry as for the Too Faced melted chocolate lipstick um, this guy was kind of a flop for me um, soon as I ate basically all the lipstick came off my mouth and I had to reapply and then um, I had some dinner later on, and again, after dinner, I also had to reapply. So, I know it says long-lasting, but because it doesn't dry down, I wouldn't suggest eating with it. It's probably long-lasting as long as you're not doing anything with your mouth. So, like, kissing, making out, eating, you know, all the typical usual stuff that we do. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, this guy was a flop for me. However, the consistency of it is super creamy and very moisturizing. And, um... Also, I really, really love the color. As for the long wear, kind of flopping for me on that. But I thought I would give you guys an update and let you guys know how the rest of my day went yesterday. Again, if you guys like this video, if you like me, please give it a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I know I already said this previously, but I'm going to say it again because I say it at the end of every single one of my videos. Peace love and hugs. Bye guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it and I hope you guys have an amazing day.